Hey YouTube, how we doing today? We're drinking beer today. I'm not sponsored by them, so we're not going to mention by name. But I enjoy it. So today, we're going to take a peek at some paint spray guns. Uh, some of you guys probably heard in some of my previous videos, I do body work, I do spray work. So let's, uh, let's take a peek at what I got for you. All right, so what we have here is the DeVille Bliss Starting Line Spray Gun Kit. This is exactly how it comes. Having, I've taken it out. I have used it, but I put it all back nice and pretty because, well, I only used the one gun. So we got a regulator. we got a mini gun, mini cups, about a, about a pint cup. We got a full size gun, about a quart cup. The full size gun comes with a 1.4 millimeter tip. Also comes with a 1.8. Comes with a 1.8 needle, wrench, brush, 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 and filter for the cup. And the regulator. Not a regulator, sorry. Be very clear, not a regulator. This is an air valve. I, I'll get into that in just a minute. Bear with me here. So, uh, let's start with the basics here. Um, Ville Bliss is a wonderful manufacturer of spray guns. A uh, big name in the painting community for as long as I've been doing it. Uh, I remember my teacher in body shop school he had the Vilbus. That was my first exposure to it, and I thought they were the the shiznit. Um, and they make a great gun. They do. Um, these particular guns are not quite to the normal standard of the Vilbus. Um, they're a little on the, uh, we'll say, less expensive side. We won't call them cheap. Not cheap. We'll leave that to Harbor Freight. But these are less expensive. And we'll get into the, the details with these here. So what do I mean by... Let's get into the, the build quality here. Some differences between my higher-end uh, Devilbus guns and these. Uh, let's get into here and get myself a pointing tool. So, right here, if I can get the glares to stop, right here, get all zoomed in here, you'll see that we've got a Jesus clip. I'm not a fan of Jesus clips. Both guns have them. And if you don't know what I mean by Jesus clips, if you try pulling one of these off or putting one of them on, they tend to go flying clear across the room, at which point you take the, Nor uh, the Lord's name in vain, as you've effectively lost the clip. And now have to travel to True Value or Tractor Supply or something in search of one. And good luck. But I'm not a big fan of these. You see these typically on cheap guns, uh, cheap Chinese guns like Harbor Freight and um, Home Depot guns, stuff like that. Uh, Campbell Hossfield, you'll, you'll find, find that on there. Uh, typically, the Vilbus will use a screw. It's a shouldered screw so that, that it sets correctly and it just kind of stays put. Um, while looking at the castings, it's nice, bright, and chrome, but if you look at the casting, the casting's not quite as nice and crisp as you normally see from the Vilbus. I'm trying to block that glare out for everybody. Um, so the casting quality is not quite as nice. Now, another thing that I did notice is right here is the air valve, but up here is the needle. Try and get in that, that glare again. 
So here's the needle, here's the air valve. They did the same thing on this one. Needle, air valve. Now, all my good guns, that's all part of the same component. Now, it does have a standard fan adjustment, needle adjustment, and you get a pretty standardized air cap designed for painting. Do you have an O-ring on the bottom of the cups? That's on both cups. That's real nice for getting a good seal. Uh, the caps don't feel bad on the cups. Um, they're a nice tight fit. I imagine over time those will probably wear down a bit, but they don't feel too bad. I'd be okay with that. Pretty comfortable. Now we've got our air valve. And this is just a pretty standard run-of-the-mill air valve. Um, nothing really too terribly impressive here. Um, we'll get back into this guy a little later. Now, for our cleaning supplies, we've got standard Fantel brush, toothbrush, I wouldn't brush my teeth with it, but that's basically what it is, toothbrush, oversized pipe cleaner. Those will come in handy for cleaning. The wrench. The only thing about these wrenches that are worth a darn are these right here. These are for unscrewing your fluid tip. And they do a good job at that. But all the rest of these little, I don't know, wrenches, um, I find that you can't get enough rotation out of it because you got all this material right here and it kind of blocks it. You can't get it into where it's got to be. So, but that does come in handy for going the fluid tips. A lot, a lot easier than going and dragging a wrench out of the box. Uh, filters almost kind of mandatory. I run, I run filters on all my guns. So, uh, this fluid tip here uh, is actually the 1.4. 1.4 came in the gun. Um, at 1.8 on the side, I flip flopped them because of what I needed to do. Let's see if we can get it in the light here. Yep, there it is. Get the focus. 1.3. It's 1.3. All right, so 1.3 on the needle. 1.8s in the gun. 1.8 most people would use for priming. Uh, the spray tip, uh, the air cap, is really designed for base coat, clear coat on this one. It'll work fine for, for going prime. When you're priming, you don't have to worry about it being that pretty. Uh, usually they run a little different air cap. Uh, just because of the viscosity of the, the primer. It's a little thicker, it's a little heavier. That's why you run the bigger needle. But what I plan on using this for is very coarse metal flake suspended in a, in a clear. That needs a big needle. Um, but it has a cap that's good for shooting base. That's basically what, it, what, it, what I'm doing with it. That'll work out good. Um, the mini comes with a 1.0 on the on the needle and fluid tip. Um, the air caps, fluid needle, they're not interchangeable between the guns. These are two very different sizes. The little one's a touch-up gun. This here's a full size. The cups are aluminum. That's always kind of nice. Makes it a little easier for cleaning. Um, all right, back to our air valve. Now our air valve is exactly that. It is a valve. You hear people refer to this as a regulator. This is not a regulator. This is literally just a valve. You open it, let more air flow through. You close it, less air flow go through. Now as your line pressure changes, coming from your air compressor, that is going to change as well. 
and that will give you inconsistencies in your air pressure. This is a regulator. You can see how much bigger that thing is. No matter what, whatever I set this regulator to, no matter what my compressor does, this will always maintain the same pressure, as long as the pressure is higher than what I have it set at. That is preferred. But, are you working in a body shop? Now we're, we're going to get down to the, the real meat and potatoes of this. So, this entire kit was about 200 220 bucks after Uncle Sam got done with me. That is extremely affordable, especially when you mention this is the Vilbus. If you look at my higher-end guns at work, my cheapest one is more than $220. I've got Sharp, I've got Devilbis, I've got a, a Sagala. Extremely expensive guns. So, this is an affordable entry point for somebody who just got done with body shop school, uh, maybe just has that weekend project, you know, here and there where they got to paint, you know, your car fix a fender whatever maybe just wanting to learn how to do this um, this is a great option uh, your harbor freight guns could be good options potentially except for there's no longevity to it if you got one maybe two projects eh, $15 harbor freight gun might do the trick but if you want to have more than one or two projects, you're going to end up buying another one. Uh, this little kit, spend a little bit more money. I think you got a product here that might last you probably for the life that you're ever going to use it as a non-professional. If you're just coming out of body shop school, you're looking at a gun. This will get you out of the gate probably pretty well. Um, maybe get you your first year or two out of this gun. These two guns. Um, so that gives you a couple years to kind of get your tools built up. Um, maybe get some nicer guns, what have you. Um, that's why they call it the starting line. This is a good place to start at. Um, and I think in that context, what you have here is a very good product at a respectable price. Um, I used the Mini, the touch-up gun, as we call them. I call it a Mini, but they're called touch-up guns. Uh, did a spot repair. It laid down base coat. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have no complaints about how this thing sprayed. Um, this is actually the whole reason I bought this kit. Um, by itself, if you can find them, this gun's 150 bucks. For 50 bucks more, you get the whole kit. I couldn't find the gun by itself, so bought the whole kit. I plan on using this one occasionally. Um, won't be a real heavy used gun, but I uh, do a lot of custom work, so periodically I need to be able to have a nice spraying uh, air cap with a 1.8. And I don't like to be at work and switch my air cap and my needles and my tip just to be able to spray something else. Um, I like a gun that's already set up for it. Just go grab that gun, go do what I got to do with it. You know, run a little uh, lacquer thinner through it, clean it up, throw it back on the shelf. Um, so, some things I would like to see different. I'd like to see these Jesus clips gone. Give us a screw. Um, I'll accept the the poor quality castings. I'm a little little disappointed in that develop list, but we'll we'll take that. We'll we'll have to take it because this is a, a cheaper build quality and it's it's meant to be that way. Um, there's no O-rings in this gun. Uh, 
usually like your Harbor Freight guns, you get all these little points here. You got O-rings all over the place. They're all stacked up. Uh, use it one time, clean it up, throw it in the drawer, pull it out, you know, four or five months later, do some work. Boom, all the, all the O-rings just blow out of it. Um, not going to be the case on this. These are machined to a better quality. Thus, you pay the bigger price tag, but you don't have to worry about those O-rings in. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really cool kit. Um, let's, uh, let's flip it around here and let's, let's get some thoughts. All right. A little long winded. I know. It's for the good. It's for the, it's for the better good. I think this is a really great deal for a lot of people out there. Uh, that is not going to be a professional gun that's it's just how it is you in the professional setting we just use the stuff too much our demand out of the equipment is too high uh we just add a lot of stress to it um one thing that i will say is the spray pattern on this was really nice um it, you had a decent spray pattern out of a lot of the less expensive guns like especially like the harbor freight guns you get a real small narrow spray pattern not the case on this that I can tell uh, so you can actually get some volume of work done and accomplished um, you know in the professional setting that's 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 everything it's all about time um, and you know the cheap guns you, they just don't do it be standing there forever trying to get work done <coughs> this one uh, <clears throat> Like I said, I don't think the build quality is quite there. My boss uses the bigger gun, you know, quite a bit. He's had it for like a year now. It's still treating him good. So there's something to be said there. Um, I personally like it. I think it's great for, like I said, those people just coming out of body shop school or if you need a spray gun, you know, for your projects at home, working on that custom car or... Uh, you know, replacing the fender because, you know, your wife jumped the curb and, you know, took out a pedestrian, you know, in a family of four. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how your wife drives. Uh, but if that's the case, this might be your ticket. Um, it's going to last you a lot longer than those cheap Harbor Freight guns, and I think you'll be sitting in a better position by buying this. So that's my advice for today on the DeVilbus starting line two-gun kit. You guys have yourself a good day, and uh, Happy New Year.